a satisfactory outcome, Starfleet is reasonably pleased. Reasonably? Here are your new assignments. Telsia, you will command the security force on the USS Dallas. Chell... You're breaking up the hazard team? Precisely. Chell, you are assigned to the research outpost in the Guernica system. Not even a starship? Precisely. Monroe, I've assigned you to teach small group tactics here at Starfleet Academy. You also assigned Tuvok to teach math? Monroe is nursemaiding cadets? Precisely. That is his best use. Saving lives is no longer useful? Read Janeway's report. She said the hazard team is a vital asset. Precisely. Vital to the Delta Quadrant. Your so-called hazard team relied on non-regulation tactics. And no so-called star bases for backup. Precisely. Here in the Alpha Quadrant, traditional away teams are sufficient. The hazard team takes missions that are too hot for traditional away teams. There is no hazard team. Oh, yes, there is. And it outnumbers you. What? What was that? Everyone calm down. Stemmons, what Captain Janeway prized was our ability to improvise flexible tactics for any situation. Precisely. Such extemporaneous tactics are no longer appropriate. You should be grateful we have a place for you at all. Why aren't you grateful for a chance to relax after seven long years of strife? I don't understand this at all. Precisely. You don't understand. At all. I can't believe he's disbanding the hazard team. Come on, Monroe. Just give me five minutes alone with him. So you can be thrown into the brig? Chang's right. We have to do something. How do incompetent people end up with such important jobs? Maybe we can get him fired for being a hack. Whoa. Even Chell wasn't this bloodthirsty fighting the Borg. I'm going to file an appeal with Starfleet Command. Someone in the chain of command will listen to reason. And if that doesn't work? Then we make some hard choices. Damn. The subject of your reassignment Lieutenant is closed, Monroe. Lieutenant. You have a visitor waiting for you at the main entrance. Chang. I'll see up there, Monroe. They can't keep a guy like you dirt side. I'll see up there, Monroe. They can't keep a guy like you dirt side. Chell. So, do you really think Telsia has a chance of getting Starfleet to reverse this decision? Well, it could be worse. There are some exciting experiments going on in the Guernica system, I guess. Sir, I'm glad Voyager made it back safely. What an amazing high point to a career in Starfleet. Sir. It's good to have you back in the Alpha Quadrant. Ground level. Professor? Can I help you find anything, Lieutenant? Hello? Cadet? Good day, sir. 
I'm really enjoying my time at the Academy. Everyone here is so friendly. Cadet? Yes, sir? I hope I get a chance to serve on the Enterprise, sir. Cadet? Yes, sir? Warp engine mechanics is such a tough class, sir. I really don't want to take it again. Hello. Hello. Sir. It's good to have you back in the Alpha Quadrant. Sir, it's good to have Voyager back safe and in one piece. Cadet? I'm sorry, sir, I, but I really have to crack this problem. Greetings, Lieutenant. Tuvok, what are you doing here? I had time for a brief stopover on my way to Vulcan. Congratulations on your new assignment. Thanks, but I don't want to leave active duty for teaching. There are few jobs more important than teaching. But I will explain your plight to my colleagues. Thanks, Tuvok. I just think I can be of better use out there. The Academy offers contact with many prominent people. Demonstrations of talent and initiative do not go unnoticed. Commander Tuvok, please report to Launch Pad 2. It was an honor to serve with you. The honor was mine, Lieutenant Monroe. Live long and prosper. Tuvok, Lieutenant Monroe, it was good to see you again, Lieutenant. Please report to the Headmaster's you office. You will make a fine instructor here at the Academy. Cadet? Hello, sir. Can you believe it? Voyager returned after being gone all those years. I wonder what it was like being stranded so far from home all that time. I'd love to sit down and talk with them about their adventures. Yeah. They must be in demand all over the Federation. An officer from that ship must have his pick of assignments. After all that excitement, I don't know how they could ever go back to normal duties. Excuse me. Hi. I don't think we've met. If you're looking for the headmaster's office, it's by the main lecture hall. Excuse me. Hello. 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 Cadet? Yes, sir. Warp engine mechanics is such a tough class, sir. I really don't want to take it again. Cadet? Good day, sir. Did you hear about the prank the Tex pulled on Professor Baalbaki? They rigged a food replicator to dispense Klingon gach instead of linguini. <laughs> They're always pulling pranks on faculty. Cadet? Hello, sir. Have you had a class with Professor Say? I really enjoyed his class in Xenoethnography. Sir, uh, we have some questions about the exam. What are your questions, Cadet? Why did you put so much emphasis on Cochrane's theories? Cochrane provides the foundation for all warp technology. His theories open space to humanity and still compose the basis for Federation ship technology. But his theories are almost 300 years old. It's hard to imagine a time without warp technology, or that humans were ever that backwards. They weren't backward. 
just unenlightened. That's our point, sir. That culture created Zephyrin Cochran. So how could his work still have relevance? Fail to understand the past, and you can never see the future. I have an easier time with Cochrane's theories than with the early Vulcan warp technology. The work of Dr. Leia Brahms is a lot more accessible. While Dr. Brahms' work is necessary reading and very informative, you still need to maintain a fundamental understanding of Dr. Cochrane's work. I still think it's a waste of time. We'll never really break new ground by relying on ancient theories. And we'll never make progress without building on the past. But we've gone far past Vulcan technology. Every race in the Federation makes its contribution. Can we at least study someone from this century? Or this planet? Remember, ex astris scientia, from the star's knowledge. Cadet, do you know how to modulate force fields? Sir, I wish I could chat right now, Lieutenant. Perhaps later. Professor? I don't have time to talk right now. Professor? Hello, Monroe, is it? Hello. Glad to have you here at the Academy. Sir, is there anything you need? Cadet? Good day, sir. I'm really enjoying my time at the Academy. Everyone here is so friendly. Headmaster's office. I swear that it's all right. I have my complete permission. I really want to see what it's like. You have to understand, most Betazoids hate using telepathy on those who don't have it. In the past, it's led to war and death. Far too many of us ended up in concentration camps, placed there by those who feared our powers. We've learned to respect the privacy of other races. Learning the value of other people's privacy was a major step forward for us. We've learned that all people have a right to think freely without coercion or outside scrutiny. But if you're really determined, we can give it a try. I would be honored to have you read my mind. But only for a moment. So? That's sweet. Lieutenant Monroe reporting, sir. Ah, good to meet you, Lieutenant. I have your teaching assignment. You'll be instructing the cadets in small unit tactics. Sir. I'm sure you'll be an asset to the Academy, Lieutenant. I look forward to reviewing your lesson plans. Excuse me, but I have duties to attend to. Can we talk later? Cadet? Good day, sir. Tells you to Monroe. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Starfleet's answered our petition. Ground level.
Cadet? Yes, sir. Amazing thing about Voyager coming back. After all these years, I bet they're getting a hero's welcome. Sir. Your journey aboard Voyager must have been very exciting. Yes, sir. Can I help you? Hello, sir. Sir. Good day to you, Lieutenant Monroe. Starfleet Command declined to hear our appeal. I see. What are you going to do? What can I do? Resign. And that will get the team back how? It'll show Stemmons the price of stupid decisions. It'll show Stemmons he can bully us out of Starfleet. We end up paying the price, not him. Until the Borg pay a little visit, or the Romulans, or... The Dallas is a good ship. At least you're back in action. If I accept. What if we both resign? At least we can be together. I won't let you throw away your career for me. You mean you won't throw away your career for me? Romulan sneak attack! A service dump. This should lead to the next chamber. I will open the ducts. The service ducts are open. I will activate the door when you reach the other side.
over there! Execute Hazard Maneuver Monroe Alpha 3. With Uh, Lieutenant Monroe, this is Captain Jean-Luc Picard. I enjoyed observing your holodeck session. Very impressive. Yes, thank you, Monroe. And now we're very sorry, but the captain is on a very tight schedule. I'm sure the headmaster's reception can wait a few minutes. Lieutenant Monroe, I was wondering where you trained. The Delta Quadrant. I beg your pardon? I led the hazard team on Voyager, sir. Hazard team? Yes, the hazard team was... Completely superfluous. Excuse me? Superfluous? Precisely. Federation space is so completely different from the lawless Delta Quadrant. My research clearly shows that Starfleet captains do not need hazard teams. I see. And are you a Starfleet captain? Well, no, but... The challenges we face on the outer edges of Federation space are not so different from what Voyager faced in the Delta Quadrant. I could use an elite force of tactical officers. But... Tell me, Lieutenant, do you ever think about going back on active duty? Every second of my life. I'll talk to your commanding officer. Perhaps I can arrange a transfer. Thank you, sir. Draw up a list of personnel and cadets you would like on a new hazard team. I'm sure Mr. Stemmons can make the arrangements. I... Uh, well... Precisely. 